Welcome to the Crossway Kitchen. I want to share with you an Easter tradition that my family's had for a number of years, and this is going to be for resurrection rolls. And I always have the grandkids help me make these uh, right before we have Easter dinner. They're simple to do, quick, and a big hit. So the things you'll need is, first of all, a can of crescent rolls, and it depends on how many uh, you want. This is a four-pack can because it's just going to be me and Kevin, and we don't need all those rolls. <laughs> so all you got to do is look at me and know I don't need all those rolls. So I'm going to use a four-pack, but you can use an eight-pack or more than that if you want. <clears throat> you need marshmallows. And you don't want miniature, you want the regular size marshmallows. Um, you need, whoop, this isn't going to show real well in the bowl. Um, a cinnamon sugar mix, um, as much cinnamon as you like. And um, you can use either granula, white granulated sugar or you can use brown sugar. And, and this probably isn't going to show very well either, melted butter, okay? Now, they're resurrection rolls because as I work with the grandkids on this, I explain to them the symbolism. So we're gonna start with the marshmallow, which, which is uh, symbolizing Jesus. And we're going to anoint him with the butter. So roll the marshmallow around in the melted butter. And then, will treat his body with spices as was the custom of the day. Um, dead bodies were always treated with spices like myrrh um, before they were entombed. And so once you have the marshmallow all coated, then you're going to use the crescent roll and put the marshmallow, wrap it up. The crescent roll is a shroud because that's what was done with bodies then after they were anointed and then they were um, treated with the spices, they were then wrapped in a shroud before they were entombed. Now, you want to do the best job you can at pinching all of the, um, Press it roll together as tightly as you can over the marshmallow. Okay? Um, you're going to be putting these on a parchment paper lined baking sheet. Um, you really want them on a parchment paper lined baking sheet um, just in case you have anything oozing out. Okay? And you're going to bake them in a preheated oven. The oven should be preheated to 375 and you're going to bake them for 9 to 12 minutes. So I'm going to uh, get these baked and then I'll show you what they look like when they're done. Okay, our finished resurrection rolls are here. Let me show you. Ah, they're going to slide. The paper's going to slide. There they are. Aren't they beautiful? And remembering the symbolism of everything, I'm cutting one in half now so I can show you. Um, because look there, the marshmallow, Jesus, is gone. The shroud is empty. Christ has risen. Hallelujah. I hope you, your family enjoys this Easter tradition. Thank you for allowing me to share it with you. Hallelujah. Christ is risen. You want a warm resurrection roll? Yeah.